Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to go over 19 of the best WordPress plugins in 2020. So let's dive in. So I'm going to be going over a combination of different plugins here, and these are all different types of plugins. So it's not just going to be SEO plugins, for example, it's going to be all different ones. And I've kind of split them up to be a little bit in categories like builders and then SEO, caching or things that are going to speed up your website and so on. So as I go through this list, just know that a lot of these have free versions. Basically, everyone is a free version. And then a lot of them do have paid versions as well. So let's go through the list now. The first one I want to start off with here is called Elementor. Elementor is maybe the most popular WordPress plugin around these days. And I think it's only going to increase in popularity as time goes on because they offer so much in their free builder, but then they also have a pro builder that is just amazing. You can see it actually going through some of the things that it can do right here, just easily writing right text on a screen and being able to adjust different things, just drop in a form in this example right here. So there's lots of different things that you can do within Elementor. And I totally recommend getting their pro version if you haven't used it before. Maybe you can try out the free version and then upgrade to the pro version if you like how the feel is. And I have tutorials on my channel if you want to check some out on how to make a website with Elementor's free version. I will do some more about the pro version in the future here, but I just wanted to at least give people a free option that are trying to make a website out there. And Elementor is a great place to start. So the next one is related to Elementor and it's Happy Add-ons. And it says right here, it has powerful Elementor widgets to create beautiful websites. And again, they have a free and a pro version here. And I'm gonna have links to all these in the description if you wanna pick them up. But this one is amazing because you can actually just copy and paste in different elements or sections within the pages that you want and create pages within a matter of minutes. There's a lot of different features on here if we go to the features page it will tell us there's the cross domain copy paste as i was saying in the pro version there's also presets unlimited nesting these are all in the pro version right here image masking live copy site sync floating effects there's so many different things in here and there's also ones on the free version as well there's about 40 free widgets at this time i believe so if you wanted to check out happy add-ons feel free to use the link in my description and here are a lot of the options that they have on here i totally recommend checking it out and i'm going to be having videos on this as well coming out soon so another one i plan to make videos on is brizzy and brizzy has again a free and a pro version for brizzy and it's a builder somewhat similar to Elementor, but they have many different pre-made elements here or sections that you can just drag and drop right into your builder here. And you can add different blocks. As you can see, here's examples of some of them. And I won't say I would use this right now for a website if you're gonna create one live. I feel like they're still developing a lot of features within Brizzy, but it is something I think that is gonna to need to be on people's radars if they're going to be developing a lot of websites for clients and things like that. I would still probably cater a little bit more toward Elementor at this time, but Brizzy is an option that you're going to be able to use in the next year or two, and it's definitely worth getting a feel for if you want to try out a new builder. So the next one over here is an SEO plugin, and it's Yoast SEO. This is the plugin that I use right now for SEO, but that might be changing here in the future. And Yoast SEO is the number one WordPress SEO plugin. There's plenty of tutorials online about how to use it. It's a great way to get started if you're just getting into creating websites and you want to rank within Google, or at least be pushing your pages and your posts in the right direction to be recognized by Google of what you're trying to rank for. So it's definitely one I recommend for using the free version. I really don't think that their premium version offers a whole lot more than their free version in my opinion. So I would recommend going with the free version here if you had the option. So if we go over to Rank Math, this one actually just recently got implemented into Elementor and it's now built into Elementor's plugin. So it's pretty amazing that they have this and you can download it for free here or use it within the Elementor plugin. I think this one's just going to get more popular and it already had a lot of popularity behind it before it was built into Elementor, but now it's probably going to go to a whole nother level. And I really just recommend you check this out as another SEO option for a plugin if Yoast isn't working well for you. So. Another option here that I recommend for a free version is WP Fastest Cache, and that is a caching plugin that can help speed up your website. So 
I use WP Rocket on some of my sites, and then ones that I don't use WP Rocket on, I use this plugin WP Fastest Cache. WP Rocket is only a paid version, and this WP Fastest Cache has a paid and a free version. So I would recommend checking this out if you're looking for a free option for a plugin. If not, I would go with WP Rocket. And again, I'm going to have a link to each of those in the description if you're interested. So here we have Smush, and this is a way to compress and optimize lazy load images. So this is basically just going to make your website faster by compressing images. There's quite a few plugins out there that do this. I'm actually going to cover a few more right now. We can go over to Short Pixel, and I do have a pro plan on Short Pixel, so this is what I use on my websites. But there are options like Smush, Short Pixel, and over here, Imageify, if you need to compress images and make your website a little bit faster by doing so. And if we go over here, we have really simple SSL, and this is something that you would want for your website. It says right here, really simple SSL automatically detects your settings and configures your website to run over HTTPS. Now, I know there's a lot of people that have issues with that, but they want to make their website more secure, and this is how you can do it with the really simple SSL plugin if you need it. Another option over here for live chat is TDO, and I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a chatbot, and it's one that I might do a video on here in the next few months or so, and it's just a way that you can have live chat with bots right on your site, so it's pretty easy to use. You can actually test it out right on their site and see how it goes. Again, you can use this one for free, or you can buy a premium plan or a pro plan right here. So another one related to security over here is Loganizer Security. And the other one over here is Limit Login Attempts Reloaded. These are very similar plugins in a way, but they help stop brute force attacks. And I use Loganizer on basically every website I have. And you can limit how many attempts people can have to put in the incorrect password when they're trying to sign into a website. I really like this feature because it just limits the brute force attacks that people with malicious intent might be trying to do to your website to hack in your website. You can also set up two-factor authentication, recapture, and more features. So it's definitely something that you should look at. Either limit login attempts or loganizer, I would recommend having on basically every website you have. So over here, we also have WordFence, and this protects your website with the best WordPress security available is what they say. Over here, they have a cloud firewall example, and it shows how an attacker can actually get to your server. But with an endpoint firewall, it's a lot more difficult because your data is not going to be leaked through the firewall. A lot of this is a little bit too technical for me, to be honest with you, but it is a way that you can have more security on your website if that's something that you're worried about. So another plugin over here is a forms plugin, and I've touched on this before in a few of my tutorials that I've done within the Astro theme, and I've showed how to actually set up a form really quick with WP Forms, and this is the number one drag and drop WordPress form builder out there. I would say that Contact Form 7 is probably still a little bit more popular, but I would think that WP Forms is probably the best one for most people, and I feel like it's a little more up to date than Contact Form 7 is, which is an alternative to this. I would say that I would recommend this one over, but I do think it's a little bit expensive when you go to the pro pricing here and you see what the pricing is actually going to cost for that. I guess they have a sale going on right now, and you can actually look at the prices and plans right here, but it's going to be a yearly subscription to have a form on your page or have forms on your page. So I'm not really sure if it's quite worth it with the pro plan in my personal opinion, but you can try it out for yourself. And it is integrated in a lot of different starter sites that Astra has if you want to try it out. So another form builder here is Caldera Forms. And this is a free form builder as well. And here you can actually upgrade again to a pro version. But I like this one. It's pretty easy to just drag and drop different widgets or areas of text boxes that you might need or fields that you might need for your form. It's pretty easy to use, and I like it as an option, as an alternative to WP Forms. And I think it's a little bit better than Contact Form 7 as well. So over here, if we go over, here's Happy Forms, and this is another form builder. I actually have a tutorial on this from when it first came out on my channel here. And if you want to, you can search for that. But here you can drag and drop different fields right into the form that you're trying to create. I really like this one. I actually think I might like this one a little bit more than Caldera Forms. If I had to order them, I'd probably say WP Forms, 
then happy forms, then caldera forms if I had to choose. And next I'm going to go over and jump over to one of my favorite plugins to use on a lot of my blogs and that is Grow by Mediavine. This used to be called Social Pug and they changed the name right after I made the video of course. So like a week after I posted the video on Social Pug they changed the name to Grow. But here you can put up social sharing buttons on your either left sidebar of your blog or underneath or even underneath and above your blog post. So it's a really nice plugin. I really like it. And I think it just does the job in a simple fashion and lets you have social sharing buttons that look clean on your website. It's my favorite one and I've tried a lot of these social sharing options for plugins. So the last one over here that I wanted to touch on was Google Analytics Dashboard for WP. So this is one that you're probably going to be pretty familiar with. I've also done a tutorial on this one as well. And you can set this up in literally a matter of minutes, probably about two, three minutes to set this plugin up. And then you can track your results and how your website is doing right here within the dashboard of your website. This is the kind of view that you're going to see. And it's really helpful just to get a quick view without having to sign into analytics.google.com every time you want to look at your analytics. I just like having it there and I like having analytics enabled in case I want to maybe sell a website that I'm creating down the road. I at least can show people that there has been a good history of traffic on a website or sessions. I can show them real statistics. I remember the first time I went to sell a website, I was not able to sell it because I was using all stats. Now this is way back in the day. So I was using these all stats as my statistics and they wouldn't accept them. Nobody was accepting them as a buyer. They wanted Google Analytics to see the true traffic and it prevented me from selling that website for about six months until I could show six months worth of traffic with Google Analytics. And with this plugin, you can have it up and running and you can see that it's working daily. Whenever you log into your website, it'll be right there. So I hope my list here of 19 of the best WordPress plugins for 2020 was good. I really hope that you found a few gems in here that you didn't know about or at least plugins that you want to try out for yourself and see if you like it. Almost all of these are rated very highly within the WordPress repository for plugins. So I would definitely check them out if you think it's something that your website could use or use to improve the overall look and feel for your website. Again, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribe for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.